Und Fluris uh, is exploring the, the origin of fear. In that sense, it, it was very useful to shoot in, in two different cultures, in two different cities like Madrid and, and London. Because in a way, when, when, when fear takes over your house and suddenly there is, a, there is a big thing in your house happening, like in the movie, which is an intruder is entering in your house and attacking your, your family, I think the way that the people um, react reacts in, in, this, in these problems is completely different in, in, in these in this cultures. You know, in, in the Spanish, in the Spanish uh, culture, you know, the, the religion is very important. So the way that Luis and, and, and her son are, are helping, I mean, are asking for help and to, to the priest is a, very, is a very common characteristic in Spain, you know, because religion is always, you know, probably is a, it's like the light at the end of the tunnel. I found the English culture a little bit more uh, rational and And obviously, the, the psychiatry is a very, you know, important help in, the, in that sense. So uh, that's why the English family is looking for for help in that in that way. And then in the movie, we show two different approaches into the into the into the help. I mean, in order to help these kids, which are having who are having this kind of nightmare. I think in intruders uh, there, there was something that I, that, that, I, that I needed from the very beginning, which was to make a suspense movie, to make a, a supernatural story uh, around the fear of uh, two kids in different, different cities, in different families. But there was something that, 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 I, that I was so uh, demanding when I was thinking about the, the, the movie, which was introducing a, a layer of realism in the story. I think the, the more realistic, the better in terms of uh, buying and, and, and attaching you know, your, the, the audience with, the, with, with everything which is happening in the story. So definitely I have to deal with a realistic, with a realistic approach, but at the same time with some kind of door, I mean, some kind of uh, fantasy level in order to, to make that Supernatural, uh, uh, supernatural flavor in order to make it believable and so powerful, you know. My producers and I, we were discussing a lot about to, to make a, a special movie about the, the fear, about the source of fear. And, and then I, I remember when I, when I was a kid, how, how easily your, your family is transmitting you, you know, the... the stories or secrets about your own family and and then when i remember that time i think it was a very crucial time in my life in terms of um you know to think about ghosts monsters and and, and, and the fear itself Definitely, we, we thought that it would be a good idea to make a movie about the legacy of fear how your family how the secrets in your family become your nightmares when you're a kid and how you have to pay attention, you have to take care of your kids if you, want to, if you want to give them the good things. But of course, when you're, when you're, when you're a father, you have, to, you have to pay attention to what, what, what is your legacy to them, because uh, without being aware, you're transmitting as well the bad things. The memory is something, is something that it passes from generation to generation. And probably you don't notice that when you're dealing with your kids, but every single movement, every single word that you say, it has a subtext behind. So that's the way that we, I think we absorb from, from our family, probably messages and secrets and, and many things from very, uh, very far away generations from, from our generation. So, And definitely something that, that, that I was so um, curious to explore and to, and, to, and to work on a movie because um, I think family is probably one of the basic pillars in our emo emotional construction. So that's why I, to, to exploring that, in that level, to exploring in, in our environment in terms of the family is a very interesting subject. And, it, and again, uh, it's something that you, that you 
little by little you're discovering many things, many layers in that in that um, in that sense. Clive Owen was somebody which immediately we thought that it would be great for this movie because you know I think he got that kind of common uh, common uh, attitude. Uh, I think he conveys that that normal guy that you know he could be a family man, but at the same time he got a proper hero presence, which I think is something very important in this movie because, you know, this, this character, uh, John Farrow, is a, is a normal guy, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a somebody who has a normal life, but suddenly he is in, he's involved in a, in a very crazy situation with his family and he has to, uh, fight, he has to fight, he has to face uh, an important menace in, in, in his house. So we needed that kind of uh, boy next door combined with, uh, with a proper hero and, 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 and strong personality. And I think with Clive, we, we, could, we could work those, uh, those colors without any problem. On the other hand, uh, after working on rehearsal with, with him and many times, it was crucial to, 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 to work with him in this movie because, on the other hand, he was, he was uh, adding and he was inspiring many things in the movie. So definitely, you know, working with him, it's a privilege and a, and a, and a special thing for this movie. Thinking about Mia, the, the girl in the story, I think that the most important thing to develop and, and to display with her was to feel the fear. To, to enter in this dark world, which is suddenly there is uh, there is an intruder in your room, there is a monster in your closet, and and you know I think with her the, the goal was to convey to the audience the possibility that that kind of supernatural thing could happen in your house, and especially the emotional attachment of the audience with her was another another goal in, in terms of um, feeling, you know, that, that possibility as a real thing in your house. It's funny because she looks like very fragile, but at the same time she's so strong. So it's, it's amazing the way that she combines two things, two, two contradictive colors like weakness and fragility and strength. You know, it's, um, it's some very unique thing that, he, that she, can, she can do. And, and I've been tracking her for a long time. Um, for me, I think she's one of the best actresses in, the, in this, this country. And, and I was looking for that kind of fragility, but of course the, 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 that kind of touch of craziness that Luisa has in the movie, I think it was important to, to, to play with. And Pilar, I think, was, was very good in order to push that uh, tender craziness, to push that level uh, very far, in order to, to, to make a very archetype and, and, and strong mother. I think the idea to, to work with Daniel was to make an interesting couple with Pilar. They, they are the same age. Uh, the chemistry between them is very notorious. So I think he's, in, he's introducing as well a, a layer of uh, romantic flavor. And on the other hand, he's, he's, he's very young. So I think the idea to, to, to show in the movie a priest so young and so passionate about his work was very crucial in order to, to make this dimension, I mean, the, the religion dimension, make that, uh, making that in, in a very fresh and unique way. And, and Daniel, you know, working with Daniel was a, was a pleasure in order to, to make that kind of new and fresh approach uh, to the religion, which is something that is a commonplace in many, in many movies, but I think you have to deal with that in a, in a different way. Otherwise, you, you could fall easily in, in, in a very uh, stereotype and, 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 and cliche way thing, you know. 
Writing and cutting the movie, it was very difficult because the movie is a puzzle. I mean, it's a, it's a mystery story. And little by little, we are dropping pieces of the puzzle. And the audience has to, has to gather these pieces and, come, I mean, and reveal what is going on in the movie. Uh, and having in mind that this story is happening in two different places, it was so difficult to combine both places and to connect them as well, and to take care and to pay attention about, because, you know, as an, as an audience member, it's so easy to, to, to lose yourself in these you know, puzzle structures. And in order to be there and understanding what's going on in the movie, you have to hypnotize the audience.